Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Margin Starcraft and today we're gonna have a game featuring me. That's right, we're gonna have a Terran vs Terran match and if you're wondering, this is not a novice map. No, this is a full-on game with actual play and more so this is my first qualifying match. That's right, I finally decided to come out of my shell and uh, do my qualifying matches and I'm going to cast them. I'm not going to be cast them one after the other, just a few in the next week I'm going to post uh, my matches and see how it goes. So far this is my first match and we will see how it goes. We have a Terran vs Terran and Ryder will be my opponent. I salute Ryder for giving me a fun play game to play and a fun cast to give as my first game. Also, you will notice that you can hear me a lot m better right now. That's because I had I've had a new microphone installed, and I'm gonna not necessarily keep this one because tomorrow I'm gonna buy a few more and try them all out and see which one works the best. Um, let's see. Since this is, no, this is no longer a novice map, this is no longer a cliff. It, you, on novice map, this is a cliff, and you can be worried about reapers. But right now, we have these destructible rocks, so this is a back door. It's, so it's very important you get a building, a supply depot, a bunker, or a missile turret, or whatever, behind these plants, so that you have vision and you know if this is coming down, you know to come back with all your forces. After the supply depot is built, I also order my SEV to move first to Zel Zelnaga Tower to scout, I don't know, in the zone for any kind of proxy, and then inside all his base. As you can see, putting all these points around the, his base to see if he gets any kind of cheese play or just simply to see what he is up to. I am finally getting down my barracks. The production tab says that he I finished first and also getting a refinery. My opponent also has a early, earlier refinery than me. As you can see, his gas is just a bit more than mine. I still have zero and he's already collecting gas. So. He, he also is putting down a tech lab, so we might see an early reaper, but luckily I scout this in time, so I will be prepared. As you can see, this is my barracks and is already pumping out marines to prepare in case for the reaper. I will also be throwing down a bunker here. Not the best positioning. I'm still trying to work out my positioning when it comes to bunkers, but at least I will have something to defend my uh, mineral line. I am getting more supply depots, I know that I don't have to, but I am starting to build my wall in and I decide instead of actually using a barracks and one supply depot, I am going to use two and put something here. As you can see, marines are coming out and my scouting SCV is coming back because there is real no point of keeping it here, it will probably die. Uh, actually this is a good idea to keep your SCV, it's only 50 minerals, so keep it in your opponent's base and continue scouting. I decided to pull it back. And so far that was a big mistake on my part because I will not be scouting his base for the entire uh, the entire game. Which is gonna be really bad. Inside the base I finally got my orbital command up and I'm going to call down a mule soon which will increase my economy vastly. Also getting my second my second guess. Let's look at the income tab. So far I am behind in SCVs, but once this mule kicks in, there we go. I am already catching up in that economy. The mule is great. I forget to put pump out SCVs. This is a big problem of my game. And this is mainly because I was trying to build this barracks, build these supply depots, and build this bunker. So I wasn't really paying attention. One, th one good thing I did was actually put my orbital command on 6. So every time I press 6, uh, my press 6, my screen comes back to my orbital command and I can pull down more mules or simply press 6 once and pump out more SCVs. As you can see, I'm slightly behind in economy, but I have a, a harvester uh, deficit, which right now is better for me because harvester deficit means more units for me while still maintaining a close hand on the economy. As you see, my opponent is pumping out more SCVs, so getting more harvesters, but he's not getting that orbital command. So it'll take a lot of SCVs to count for, this, for the mules. I am putting down one SCV, but really slowly, getting down a factory and getting down another barracks. This barracks already has uh, a tech lab. I was going first concussor shells. I was still worried about that reaper, but my opponent very smartly uh, transitioned from maybe an early reaper to marauders with two tech labs and deciding not to attack. Also he has a missile silo with cloak for go with cloak so we're gonna have ghosts and maybe maybe probably clearly nuke play. 
Let's check out the production tab. So he's also getting nitro packs for his reapers, even though I don't think he has any reapers. No, he has just marines and marauders, so nitro's packs, not the best upgrade to get. He's getting infantry level 1 and personal cloaking, as I said. While I, on the other hand, I'm getting stim pack, getting also a starport and a third barracks. Now, here is an idle SCV for me. Always a good idea to ignore my own advice as I pull another probe off the mineral line to build this and I'm going to use this SCV to build an engineering bay. Finally, I actually plan to build it for my upgrades but it would be a very good idea to put down some missile turrets just in case of a banshee or vikings or anything. Or m maybe even a drop. Let's look at that APM. Uh, this is sad. This, this, this is just absolutely sad for me to see that this is my APM. But I try. An average of 37. I don't really play so uh, very well that uh, well uh, that well so early in the game. But we shall see how the game moves on. As you can see, I'm getting a reactor for my starport. Let's get back to the production tab, and um, probably gonna pump out some medivacs. That is exactly my strategy and soon I'm going to have an SCV come here and secure my expansion which is gonna mean a lot more income for me. Slowly I'm getting the harvester count but thanks to the mules I am ahead in the economy. Finally he gets out his orbital command but as you can see he's saving up energy maybe for a scan maybe he's afraid of banshees or something invisible but he's not using the mules which is putting me a little ahead in the income. Let's check out that APM again because for a second I saw your opponent and my opponent go down to zero. That is bad. Never let your actions per minute uh, go to zero. Never just take your hand off the mouse and say I'm safe because you're not. A fourth barracks is up with another reactor so I'm gonna have three barracks pumping out marines and one for marauders and this is gonna be pumping out medevacs while I'm also getting my ground weapons level one. Uh, my opponent is getting stim pack and if um, the Moebius reactor which I think he finished so ghost will come with more energy also getting a starport and a tech lab I am getting my combat shields I've already got stim I've already got concussive shells so and my army let's check out the army size we have nine marines versus fourteen one ghost and three marauders four I am lacking in the army however I do have medevacs which is good on the army tab we're at forty eight supply against forty four supply so he is in a slight advantage there is his army with those ghosts but as long as he doesn't use an EMP on my uh, medevacs I will be in advantage because the medevacs do heal a lot second medevac is up I forget to put my rally point on the first one so it's just standing around here wasting time Move, lady! Well, not her fault. Bad commander. As you can see, another I, my SCV is waiting here for me to finally get that second command center. Still pumping out a few more units. Soon it is going to build my second base. My opponent is having an interesting composition because he does have reapers here. I don't see the point. His SCV is pretty much doing the same as mine. And, but I finally started working on my command center, so I am first. He also has siege tank and siege tech on the way. So we will see who plays out. His tanks could simply eradicate my forces, and that would be really bad. He goes and uses his reaper to scout faster and see the Zelnaga watchtower. However, I simply scoot up here without him getting any vision. While he tries to move in, I start breaking down these rocks. And what does he do? He's just standing there and this decides to see me and decides to come towards me. So I start breaking this place apart. Gonna go in. I see this I've already seen those missile turrets, so I'm using these things to come in. And the problem is he's gonna come in and snipe these two. The Reaper is gonna come in since look 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 one medevac goes down, two medevac goes down. I stim, I use it, I stim, I start killing his units, but he has stim as well. I don't have medevacs and he does have that tank, so I come in and decide to do as much damage as I can. So I just pick off one supply depot, and that's pretty much it. If if we look at the unit loss tab, you can see it's favoring him. He's lost 16 units and only uh, 12, uh, 1250 resources, while I've lost 16, 75, and 20 units. Now, these were my reinforcements. I decided to pull them back because I am fearing a counterattack. And if he would have counterattacked by now, he by now he would have simply beaten me. I have nothing to hold that against, but I decide that in this situation there's no real point of getting a second orbital command, so I get a 
as you can see, a planetary fortress. I decided since his army is pretty much ground, I would simply fall back with my army around here to protect my ramp, and if he comes in, the planetary 